Okay, so Microsoft is pulling the plug on Windows 10. Not next year, not eventually. It's happening October 14th, 2025, this year. And then it's done. And if you're not ready, it could cost you way, way more than just an upgrade. So we're talking no more security updates, no more patches, no more support. And for a lot of people, especially businesses, that's a real problem. This isn't just about downloading a new version. This is about control, security, and the fact that millions of perfectly working computers are about to be left behind. And it kind of sucks. So back in 2015, Windows 10 launched. And at the time, Microsoft said they'd support it for about 10 years. Fast forward to now, we're about 80 days away from that promise expiring. After October 14th, Windows 10 becomes officially unsupported. That means no more security patches, no feature updates, and no real help from Microsoft if something breaks. And you can technically keep using it. Your computer won't just shut off, but what you're doing is running an OS with a growing list of known vulnerabilities, and they will, I mean, never get fixed. So if you're thinking, okay, but does that really affect me? Yeah, it, it kind of does, and, and here's why. Most people assume end of life just means things look outdated, but that's not the case. It's much bigger than that. Once Windows 10 support ends, every new exploit that comes out, every new ransomware trick, every phishing vulnerability gets ignored. If someone finds a way in, Microsoft won't fix it. And that's a huge nightmare if you're running a business. If not just a security risk, it's a compliance issue, especially if you're in healthcare, finance, or legal, you could be using software that suddenly violates industry standards just because it's an unsupported OS. And yeah, even outside of compliance, app developers will slowly stop supporting Windows 10 altogether. So software updates will start failing, tools won't install, things you rely on will break without warning. It's just going to be a mess if you don't upgrade. So yeah, it's a big deal, but here's where it gets even more frustrating. You might be thinking, all right, all right, I'll just upgrade to Windows 11 and be done with it. But for a lot of people, that's not an option. Microsoft set super strict hardware requirements for Windows 11. Things like TPM 2.0, Secure Boot, and a pretty recent CPU. If your computer is more than like five to six years old, it's probably not compatible. Even if it feels fast, even if it's running great for you, even if you have zero problems, it doesn't matter. If it's running perfectly fine, Microsoft wants you to, yeah, upgrade to Windows 11. So now you're not just dealing with a software upgrade. You're looking at replacing hardware, laptops, desktops, sometimes even entire fleets of machines, an expense you probably weren't planning for. Now, Microsoft isn't literally forcing you to upgrade, but by making Windows 10 obsolete and Windows 11 incompatible with older devices, they're not really giving us choice. And it does, yeah, kind of feel like they're forcing everyone to upgrade. So let's talk about what actually is different with Windows 11 and whether it's even worth the switch. On the surface, Windows 11 looks like a cleaned up version of Windows 10. The bigger changes are under the hood. There's stronger built-in security, virtualization-based protection, smarter updates, it's built for cloud connected, it's hybrid work, and the future of ARM processors and AI features. But all that said, is it really a game changer? Is it really worth the upgrade? Is it worth spending all that money? Maybe not today, but it's clearly where Microsoft is going. So if you don't upgrade now and you wait, you're like introducing all this unnecessary risk. So might as well start planning that upgrade and let's just knock it out because it's where Microsoft is headed. First, check your compatibility. Microsoft's PC Health Check tool will tell you instantly if your device is ready and I'll go ahead and include that link below. Second, make a plan. If your machine's not eligible, don't wait until October to figure it out. By then, prices will spike, vendors will be slammed, and you'll be scrambling. So if you, uh, if you run a business, this is the time to audit what you've got. Replace what needs to be replaced. Budget out what's realistic. Do it before your team starts running into downtime. Let's run the diagnostic tool and see what's eligible and what's not. You don't wanna wait until the very end because if you do, you're gonna create unnecessary downtime. All for what? This isn't just about new software or, or, or giving Microsoft enough money because you know, they don't, apparently they don't have enough. It's about staying secure, staying compliant, and staying ahead of problems that are 
that are coming. They're absolutely coming. So I know Microsoft is working on a couple of things now where they are introducing this, this program to extend the support for Windows 10 for, you know, strong holdouts, people that are not gonna wanna upgrade right away or that are that maybe just somehow caught them off guard. You're gonna pay a premium for that. You're gonna pay for the ability to continue to receive updates from Microsoft and that's gonna be on their site and more information will be released. But I mean, like I said earlier, what are you doing? You're just, you're delaying the inevitable. Let's upgrade to Windows 11, let's get you current and let's make sure that we're, that we're not left behind. So yeah, like, subscribe if this helped. Drop a comment with your setup or, or any questions. I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching.